Bowers game for? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check it out Tootie Fruity from Digimac. This is for two to six players, ages four plus. It'll take you, I don't know, about five minutes to play. And in Tutti Fruity, you are going to be trying to match various different tiles together that are fruit as fast as you can and have the biggest stack of matching fruit tiles. What am I talking about? Let's open it up and I'll show you how it works. All right, then. We're going to take a look at what you're getting inside of Tutti Fruity. So first of all, we've got a handy dandy rule booklet. You're only really going to need these first two pages here. Uh, there's it's just text, but honestly, it's so simple. You'll need it once. You'll never really really need it again. Uh, I can teach you how to play right now. It's an incredibly simple game. So you're going to put all the tiles in the center. All the tiles are going to have various different pieces of fruit on them with different colors. And then when someone says go, you are all going to go at the same time trying to grab tiles and make it so they are quote unquote kissing. That's how I like to call it. What that means is, so I put that right here. I now need to make it so that this guy is touching him. Now I need this, so I take this pink one, flip it over, whoops, put it like that. Now I need a tomato, I'd be doing that. Bam, now I'm looking for a pineapple, blue pineapple, make him kiss, boom, now I got this fruit. Let's see where's this fruit, bam. And you're gonna do that. Now in addition to doing top, you can also, if you need to, potentially do one on the bottom. So let's just say you flip this over and you see you need a pair, we can go like this. Bam, and then we need another one of these guys. So we could say, uh, where's another one of these guys? Oh, I'm freaking out. You know what, I can't find one, so I'll just look for him. And we'll go like that, boom. And anywho, you are gonna continue to do this and everyone is gonna be doing this at the same time until either all of these tiles have ran out or until no one can play any of the tiles from the center, at which point the game will end. When the game ends, you're gonna go like this and make sure all your pieces match. So boom, boom, matches, 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 so on and so forth. And whoever has the highest stack that has no mistakes at all is going to be the winner of the game. If you have mistakes, then you're immediately disqualified from winning the game. If there's a tie, the game says to do it over again. Also, once you're done, you can, the, the way the box insert works, you can easily put everything back into the box, which is kind of nice. But that, in a nutshell, is how you play Tutti Fruity. Alrighty then, Tutti Fruity from Gijimek. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, uh, the game is very easy to learn. It's very easy to teach. Children are gonna get excited because of the presentation. I mean, the box just kind of pops out at you, and the tokens are nice looking. The components are perfectly serviceable. I like the box insert. I like the fact that once you're done with the game, it's very easy to put back into the box insert. I enjoy the fact that you could scaffold this game pretty easily. You know, when I first played it with my three-year-old son, just to make sure he understood the concept, we started off by just matching colors. So it was just pink to pink, and then orange to orange, and then blue to blue or whatever. And then the second time we played, it was like, all right, now we're gonna start matching the pictures. Um, also, children are going to be excited to play this the first couple times because it is, you know, it's very simple. It's easy for them to learn. It does not outstay its welcome. It says it takes 10 minutes to play. Poppycock. This is a three to five minute game. This thing is going to fly by. And that's what I got on the pros. Because moving on to the cons, this game just is not, it, it's just not good enough anymore. 20 years ago, maybe this game is good enough, but now it's just too simplistic. And you're saying, all right, but this is for a four-year-old. I say, no, go buy, there's like 10, 15, 20 Haba games that I would recommend before this game in a heartbeat because Haba gets it. This is not what games are supposed to be like right now. You know what you do in this game? You match and you do it fast and you don't screw up and then the game's over. And then you do it the next, you know what you do the next game? You match and you do it fast and you don't screw up and then the game is over. And that is all you do over and over and over again. It's too simplistic, it's too repetitive. There's zero, zero choices. The only choice you make is, do I want to screw up or do I not want to screw up? And no, kids' games have evolved from that garbage. It's not the Candyland days where you just draw it and do it. And this is a dinosaur in our hobby, I just think. Um, so, no, I can't recommend it. This feels like your typical mass market garbage that you would get at a Walmart or a Target for $4.99 from a Mattel or a Hasbro that, that just got just got farted out by one of those big companies. And that's unfortunate because it does have good artwork, it does have good components, and I wanted to like it. And the kids in my classroom, they started off, they were like, oh, that looks super cool, and they were excited. And my son was super excited to play it. And then after playing it about once or twice, they're like, 
what are those other games up there? Um, so Tutti Fruity, this is not one that's probably going to get revisited at all by my classroom or by my son. I'm probably going to go hand it off to someone else who will probably quickly lose the pieces because their kids will also get disinterested in it, which is unfortunate. So Tutti Fruity, oh, I, I, I haven't even scratched the surface. Also, this is one of those games where you're going to have to let your child win if they were going to win, uh, especially when they are younger. Now, when they get older, that might not be the case, but for younger children, I'd say under the age of maybe seven or eight, you are going to have to slow down or else you will crush them. Uh, and I hate when games do that, but say lobby. Whatever, Tutti Fruity, not one I'm going to be recommending anytime soon from Gijimek. Could have been good 20 years ago, but now it has been surpassed by many, many other children's games. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what is that one thing that you always want to get in the checkout line. For me personally, if I ever see there is new candy, any sort of new candy, I'm like, I want that new candy. For some reason, I just love, I'm a cult of the new when it comes to candy. I don't care that I love Butterfingers or, or uh, Fifth Avenue or anything like that. I think it's a candy bar. I'm a cult of the new when it comes to candy and bar. Let me know though in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.